Meantime, Hillary Clinton is in the key battleground state of Ohio today, where she's expected to hammer Donald Trump on his economic plan, saying he wants to give tax breaks to wealthy people like himself. Jennifer Griffin is live in Cleveland with the latest first there. Jennifer? Hi, Jenna. Well, we're outside the John Marshall High School where there is already a long line of voters snaking around the school. It's about a city block long behind me. I see one lone uh, Bernie Sanders supporter with a flag uh, off at the distance. Uh, but. Hillary Clinton is going to be focusing today on Donald Trump's tax plan, which her campaign says will give, will benefit his family by billions of dollars. She'll talk today about what she's calling the Trump loophole. He wants a new tax loophole that we call the Trump loophole that would actually help him and everybody else who is really wealthy. He wants to eliminate the estate tax, which does nothing for 99.8% of all Americans. But, you know, if Trump is as wealthy as he claims to be, it would save his family $4 billion. She will tour the John Marshall High School, which is a model to point students towards careers that address a regional skills gap. It has a school of engineering, a school of information technology, and a school of business and civic leadership for high school students. She will argue that the $4 billion that, Trump's, that they say Trump's family would save with his tax plan would be enough to provide health care for every veteran in Ohio. The Clinton campaign is also pushing back hard, rebutting political conspiracy theories that have emerged about Hillary Clinton's health. Hillary Clinton's doctor, Dr. Lisa Bardock, uh, put out a statement debunking what she said were phony documents suggesting Clinton has health problems. Quote, I have recently been made aware of allegedly leaked medical documents regarding Secretary Clinton with my name on them. These documents are false, were not written by me, and are not based on any medical facts. And earlier this morning, uh, uh, Vice President presidential uh, candidate Tim Kaine gave an interview to the Today Show in which he called on, he referenced the FBI handing over to Congress those notes from Hillary Clinton's uh, July 2nd interview with the FBI. Here's what he said. Anything that the FBI gives to Congress, they should give to the public. Because what we've seen is this lengthy multi-million dollar congressional investigation that has been highly partisan where they've wanted to leak out this or that to try to make their case uh, against Hillary Clinton. Clinton aides that I spoke to yesterday say they're very concerned that the Republican-led oversight committee is going to leak out certain bits and pieces. And again, they want to make this, they want all of it, all of the notes released so that the public can decide for themselves. Back to you, Jenna. Let's see if that happens. Jennifer Griffin, thank you.